Hello physics class, this is Mrs. Cracky with the third installment of our projectile motion videos when we're launching the projectile horizontally. Please remember that if we're launching the projectile horizontally, that means initial velocity in the y direction is zero. The ball is only launching with an initial velocity in the x direction. So far, we've talked about when we know height and an initial horizontal velocity, but we don't know the initial horizontal distance. We've talked about height and horizontal distance as our knowns, but we don't know the initial horizontal velocity. This video is about type three, which is where we know the initial horizontal velocity and the horizontal distance that the ball travels, but we do not know the height that it was launched from. This one, some will find actually a little bit simpler than the other two. So let's get to our question. The question for this one, is about a ball that is launched horizontally with an initial velocity of 3.5 meters per second. It lands 24.5 meters away from the bottom of the cliff, and the question says how tall is the cliff? So as always, we start with our detailed drawing. So I have my ball. It is launched horizontally. So because it's launched horizontally, I can indicate that V0Y is zero. It is launched with an initial velocity, that's a horizontal velocity of 3.5 meters per second. So I will add that to my drawing here. VOX is 3.5 meters per second. And then it says it lands 24.5 meters away from the bottom of the cliff. That tells me that that is a horizontal distance. So I will add my label there, DX equals 24 5 meters. And then the last thing I will label is my unknown, just in case I get a little bit lost and I want to double check what is it I'm looking for here. I am looking for dy, or distance or displacement in the y direction. As is the case with the other two uh, types of projectile motion problems, we're going to want to figure out time to start with. In this case, because I have initial velocity in the x direction and I have distance in the x direction, I'm going to use this first equation, um, distance equals rate times time, in order to find time of flight. So step one, find time. dx, or displacement in the x direction, is vx times t dx is 24.5 meters. Equals vx times t. vx was 3.5 meters. Per second. So if I divide both sides by uh, initial speed in the x direction, I get 24.5 divided by 3.5 and I find that the time is 7 seconds. I realize I did forget to mention that for this particular setup I decided to set up that down is going to be positive because I do not have any initial velocity in the y direction and so it's just going to simplify a lot of my math. If you set up up as positive um, what you will find is that your dy is going to end up being a negative number. Totally fine, just make sure that you um, follow your own convention, whatever you decide that it is. Now that I have time, I can use time and my other known values to figure out what the height is. So I'm going to look at my equations and say, okay, I know acceleration, I now know time, and I'm going to find dis displacement in the y direction. So dy equals 1 half at squared plus v0 t. Now remember, because v0 in the y direction is 0, I can take and get rid of that whole amount because that's all equal to 0. So dy, which is my unknown, equals 1 half times 10 times um, t squared. Since t is 7 seconds, I'm going to take 7 and square that. dy equals 1 half times 10 is 5, 7 times 7 is 49, 
dy equals 245 meters. Oops, sorry. 245 meters. I hope that helps.